Hello, my name is Travis Osugi. I'm the technology trainer for Empire Southwest. Thank you for joining me for this webinar on the new Caterpillar SOS web portal. This video will demonstrate how to use the dashboard page. Please save your questions for the end of the video so that we can answer them with a live look in. The SOS dashboard. The dashboard page provides you with an overview of various sample elements using widgets that summarize sample information based on default and customizable system parameters. The dashboard can include any combination of the following widgets, alert levels, do over do assets, quick search, recently sampled assets, recently submitted samples, sample status, samples in progress, and the welcome widget. Click on the page settings icon found in the top right corner of the page to select the widgets that you want in your dashboard. Check or uncheck the widget titles and click OK to add or remove. You can arrange and change the size of widgets in your dashboard as well. Click on a widget when you see the four directional arrows and drag it to move it on the page. You can resize a widget by hovering over the bottom right corner or anywhere where you see a two-headed arrow. Click and drag it to the desired size. Please also note that changing the size of a widget can move the adjacent widgets based on how large or small you choose to make it. The alert levels widget is shown as a two-level donut chart. The inner ring shows the number of samples for a select period currently assigned to selected alert levels. The outer ring provides additional information by dividing samples for a selected alert level by the statuses selected. Clicking on a segment will take you to the samples page so you can view detailed information about the samples. We will explore that page in a later video. By default, the system displays the last 30 days of available information. Clicking on the settings gear icon opens a dialog box so you can define the period, alert levels, and status parameters as needed. After selecting your parameters, click OK to update the sample information in the selected widget. The Do Overdue Assets widget provides an overview of assets that are approaching or have missed their scheduled sampling dates. When you click on the link in the Asset ID column, you will automatically be taken to the fleet page to view the selected asset. Clicking on the Settings Gear widget will allow you to define the period just like the Alerts Level widget. Clicking on the Column Settings Second Gear icon in the top right of the widget opens up a drop-down list so that you can select the columns you want to appear in the table. The columns include Component, Asset ID, Due Over Due Date, Last Sample Date, and Job Site. You are also able to adjust the column size by going to the top of each column and dragging it to the left or right. The Quick Search widget provides you with a tool to quickly locate samples or assets within the system. You can select a sample number or an asset ID. When you select one of these, you will be taken from the dashboard to view the details of the sample or machine. The recently sampled assets widget displays information in a table view. When you click on an asset, you'll be taken to the fleet page to view asset details. Click on the settings box to define period and alert levels. Click on the column setting to adjust your table. The recently submitted samples widget displays the recently submitted samples in a table view just like the last widget. The Samples in Progress widget provides you with an overview of samples in progress. The columns are organized by activities which are shown on the x-axis. Hover over an entry to open a tooltip that will reveal the number of samples assigned to a specific alert level within the activity. When you click on an entry within a column, you are taken to the Samples page to see the associated activity. The Sample Status widget is a widget that is used to quickly check the number of percentage of samples in the system that have been assigned statuses over a specified time range. When you click on a slice in the pie chart, you are taken to the sample page with the related statuses. Lastly, the Welcome widget provides you with general information about the application along with information about the last time you logged into the system. It can include a message from the system administrator as well. 
All the information from this video can be found by clicking the Need Help button in the top right corner of the screen. Here you will find screenshots and in-depth directions on how to navigate the section that you are currently on. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to contact myself or the Empire SOS Fluids Lab with any questions, comments, or for training.